I am Mrs. Ruby Merlot. As a cultural, colorful pouring icon, I dress for every pour as one would naturally dress for dinner. I channel my muse with a quick vocal exercise, then ask my canvas what it wants to be. And now that you know my story, shall we pour? Welcome, gracious viewers. I'm so pleased you could join me for the pour I call Tranquility Sea. First, I do a vocal exercise. Orange, yellow, purple, blue, and red, and green. Me, 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 me. And then I ask my canvas what it wants to be. Perfection is the enemy of progress, Churchill said. Perfection is the enemy of progress. I myself strive for perfection in my own life, and I have succeeded in my fashionable attire, heirloom jewelry, and manicured nails. Initially, my intent for this pour was to master my version of a popular technique, Shelley art. But alas, that wish led me to focus on my insecurity producing desire for perfection rather than on the progress that ultimately leads to a feeling of satisfaction and the advancement of my art. In other words, I botched it up. But in the end, my canvas ruled and Tranquility Sea is the happy and inspiring result. After laying down the base puddle and my stripes of color, I use playing cards fresh from my bridge game with the girls at the country club. When I told them I was planning on using the cards in my pour, they were at first stunned into silence, but then, with merry peals of laughter, encouraged my idea, as long as I agreed not to mention their names on my video. My friends are just way too modest. Riffing off the double swipe technique, I firmly drag a card from the middle line outward through the paints, first to one side, then to the other, wiping the excess on the canvas edges. While I'd never want those extra globs to show, they are helpful in moving the excess paint along and ultimately off the canvas. As I begin to tilt, I am reminded of how grateful I am for my dear husband, Mr. Merlot. He fashioned these fabulous handles for me. I call them my canvas claws. They protect my jewels, sleeves, and nails from becoming covered with paint and help me hold on to the canvas securely while I tilt. In addition, their little legs keep the bottom edges up so the paint will not glue the canvas to the table. Capital, I say, just capital. Now don't rush the tilting process, though Mr. Merlot did in his high-speed video editing. I guess he thought people could watch only so much of me. You must tilt enough paint off the canvas so it won't crack when it dries. And don't forget to take your palette knife to dab paint on any corners or edges you've missed and to skim the bottom edges. You're always looking to create a pleasing pattern, that focal point. And once you've identified the center of attention in your picture, strive to position it perfectly. As I continue to tilt Tranquility Sea, this dancing figure takes shape in glowing yellow before my eyes. Do you see it? Like some sprite or friendly alien, it inspires me to continue to move forward with what I had started to think of as my mistake. And the figure's presence affects every decision I make as I continue my pour. 
And here are the close-ups, soothing colors, calming shapes, and the capricious little sprite dancing through it all. I look forward to my next time with you. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'm told I have to say this, though to me it lacks the very gentility I hope to promote. And as always, gracious viewers, I hope to pour with you again soon.